You just got back from the eye doctor. Either you or a family member was told you have glaucoma. What is it? Should I be scared? What can I do to help take care of it? Well, glaucoma is one of the leading causes of blindness. Not to scare you right off the bat. It's something you, don't, you want to make sure you take serious. Now, a lot of times, when the doctor's saying, you have glaucoma, you don't have any symptoms. You can't see anything different. Everything looks perfectly fine. It looks just like it has the last 10 years. Well, the problem with glaucoma is it takes a long time to really reach and, and start to affect your vision to where you can notice something's wrong. In fact, half of the nerve is dead before you notice anything's wrong. I don't want to wait that long to take care of you. We need to start addressing it now. Now, what is glaucoma? Glaucoma is damage to the nerve. A lot of people will say, oh, it's just pressure in the eye. Well, unrelated, yes, it is. But it's damage to the nerve in the, in the eye. And when glaucoma is, is affecting your eye, it's because of poor blood flow. It could be because of high pressure, mechanical forces, or you were born in a way that your eye naturally has some extra stress on that nerve. And slowly that stress, the pressure, the mechanical forces are going to cause the nerve to slowly die. What can we do to help treat it? Well, the best way and the main way we can help treat glaucoma is to lower the pressure in the eye. When we lower the pressure in the eye, it increases the blood flow, decreases mechanical forces and other strains that might be on the eye. Now, how do we do that? Well, we do it with drops. Pretty much every eye exam you go to, they're going to measure your pressure. We measure the pressures on, on pretty much every eye exam because it's something that we have to catch. You can't tell us, I feel like my eyes are hurting, I can't see very well. We want to catch them early. It's not only the pressure, we look at the nerve and evaluate it. There's a lot of good tests. There's peripheral vision tests to test the sensitivity of your vision. Make sure that you're seeing as accurately as you're supposed to. Now, we also have some scanning machines that can scan the thickness of the tissue to make sure that as it's dying off, it's not thinning, it's not deteriorating at all. Now, the eye drops are great. Sometimes it's one drop at night, both eyes, before you go to bed. To avoid having significant vision loss, well, that sounds like a good idea. Sometimes it's more drops. And if the drops get to a point where they're not able to hold back and stop the progression of the glaucoma, we may need to do, need to do some lasers. The lasers are actually pretty wonderful to help stave off or hold off some of the advancement, but they don't tend to hold off for decades and, you know, or longer. They tend to usually have five to eight years of holding back. Some people do have more, but it's great in, in supplement with the drops. There's times where we have to go towards uh, doing surgery, actual surgery aside from lasers. And they can put shunts or they can do a trabeculectomy or other surgeries to help manage the pressure and alleviate those stresses on the nerve. If you know somebody that has glaucoma, you actually may, especially if it's a family member, it's hereditary. We want to make sure that if you have anybody in your family that has glaucoma, you're getting checked out, they're getting checked out, and if you do have it, keep your appointments on a regular basis every three to four months, sometimes every six months. That's the way that we can do to help manage your vision and manage your glaucoma is to help take care of you. Don't wait until you're coming to us saying, I can't see from glaucoma. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about you know, the different surgical techniques or things you can do to help take care of your eyes, you know, like us on Facebook, like us on Google+, and subscribe to us on YouTube to learn more and keep up to date with your eyes.